Good morning, everyone. Well, it's another Monday, but at least it's looking dry for this Monday. Just partly cloudy skies and very reasonable high temperatures for late January in the region. We're talking about highs in the low to mid 30s. The one thing I do have to mention, though, going to get breezy this afternoon. Guess around 25 miles per hour. So it's not going to be feeling this warm when we hit our high temperatures this afternoon. Look what it's really going to be feeling like about 10 degrees cooler. It's going to be feeling like the low to mid 20s. So this is what you need to be prepared for this afternoon. Winds will come down some tonight, so instead of seeing gusts 20, 25 miles per hour like we're going to see during the day today, I think gusts are going to be 10 to 15 miles per hour tonight, so not as much of a wind chill factor. And notice that our low temperatures not that different from our high temperatures, and that's because we're going to have that light breeze and also the cloud cover thickening up. So starting the evening partly cloudy, but as we go through the night, more and more clouds showing up. So most of the night mostly cloudy, and I think eventually we're just going to have overcast skies very late tonight, early tomorrow morning. So we're only talking about lows in the upper 20s to around 30 degrees, and that's above normal for this time of year. Normal low temperatures are in the upper so that's some good news. And the winds are going to get even lighter for Tuesday. Uh, during the day Tuesday, we're talking about winds no more than 10 miles per hour. It does look dry on Tuesday, but doesn't look very pretty Tuesday. It does look like just a plain old cloudy day. And notice that temperatures are going to be about the same. We're talking about low to mid 30s once again, but again, feeling warmer because the winds aren't going to be any more than 10 miles per hour. Not a breezy day like today. All right, now we've got to talk about our next snow chance. Now, it still looks dry during the evening hours on Tuesday, but after midnight Tuesday night, that's when the first snow showers are going to start to pop up. We'll see the activity probably peak during the late morning and early afternoon on Wednesday. And I think the last of the snow showers will wrap up Wednesday evening, probably by midnight uh, Wednesday night. And I do have to mention, particularly in that window, during the late morning and early afternoon on Wednesday, though I think we're going to be dealing with snow throughout the day Wednesday, I'm particularly looking at that late morning through the early afternoon for pockets of heavy snow. But it certainly looks like quite the snowy day on Wednesday. The question is, of course, how snowy on Wednesday? Well, you got to look at all the possibilities with the computer models, and there's still quite the range, not a huge, huge range, but we still have multiple possibilities. There's some models that say as little as an inch and a half of snow in the region, and there are other models that say as much as four and a half inches. So what's most likely is somewhere in between, most of the models are saying around two and a half to three and a half inches of snow. And right now, it's looking like there's going to be more to the south and east and less to the north and west. In general, we expect the heavier snow to be south and east of the region, but when you just look at the region, we're probably going to see our highest snow totals probably in places to the south and east of Rensselaer. That's probably where we're going to see, if we're going to see four and a half inches of snow, it'll probably be south and east of Rensselaer. Meanwhile, if we're going to see only an inch and a half, that's most likely to be around the Hammond area. So less to the south and east, more to the north and west. With right now, most of us probably seeing two and a half to three and a half inches. Of course, there's still time for this to change. So look for an update on Tuesday morning.